I can tell you the history of this forest just by looking at its trees. The first clue about the history of this forest is that there is this generation of sugar maple trees that have all these branch scars. When we see these trees that have these branch scars, which looks like these knobs, that tells us that there was a lateral branch there, and thus that that tree was standing in the open for some amount of time. Now, when I say that basically every forest you've ever been in in New England was a pasture within the last hundred years, I don't necessarily mean that it was a totally open pasture with no trees. All across this forest is this generation of these called sugar maple trees. So what this forest was probably for 150 years was a forested pasture or a pastured sugar bush. Pastured sugar bush, or what's sometimes called a sugar orchard, would have been a place where there would have been regular, widely spaced trees, but it would have also been pasture for livestock. And then in the springtime when the maple sap was running, those widely spaced sugar maple trees would get tapped to make maple syrup. A big moment in the history of Vermont's forest was in the mid-1950s when they passed all these food safety laws that required farmers to have things like refrigerated bulk milk tanks. All these small-scale dairies couldn't afford to do that. So between about 1955 and about 1965, two-thirds of the dairies in Vermont went out of business. And so all of those pastures and those pastured sugar bushes went back to forest. So in this forest, you have basically three generations of trees. We have these old sugar maples that used to have those lateral branches. We have a generation of about 60-year-old sugar maple and white ash trees, and we have a generation of 30-year-old sugar maple trees. So what the clues that we have here are telling us is that this was probably a pastured sugar bush from the early 1800s until about 1960. In the 1960s, that dairy probably went out of business, that pastured sugar bush went fallow, and that created this generation of now 60-year-old trees. And then 30 years ago, they came here and cut some of those big old sugar maples that have been open growing in that pasture for 150 years. And here is that stump. And that created enough light and space to regenerate that 30-year-old generation of trees. 